uh, hi everyone and welcome back so uh, this is our second video of this playlist and what we are going to do is we are just going to give a quick overview of test.js by doing by writing some code let's say we are going to create a cat module here so this is our app module this application is running fine we can check by doing npm run build and by doing npm run start everything is fine we are uh, running this http server on port 3000 that you can see in our main.ts okay once the build is done we can do npm run start that is the definition in the inside package.json npm run start npm run debug all these commands okay and here npm run start will actually start the main.ts and our application will run on port 3000 if you are not providing any environment and here you can also use a .env like import um, star from .env and then .env.config or if you have other way around like if you are using config module of nest.js to populate these process variables then you can use that now we can use npm run start it will actually start our http server on port 3000 okay so this is a very basic application we don't have any modules yet you can introduce some so inside app inside domain let's call inside domain we are going to write a cat definition like cat controller cat service cat dtos and all these things so let's create them here we can actually create a controller so inside domain i'm directly creating either you can create a separate folders so if you have multiple controllers multiple services need to write currently i'm just looking for there is a one core module i'm going to have that core module is nothing but the, the shared services like i want to write an interceptor middleware pipes guards all these things i will put in the core in the domain uh, i can create a separate separate folder or we can create a controllers.js controller.ts services.ts so here we are going to write cat module.ts so this is the module we are going to write and respectively we can create cat.controller so what are the building blocks of an SGS? controller services modules pipes interceptors middlewares right so we have a controller we have a service cat.service.ts okay and other than that we can also create a DTO cat dot dto.ts each and every file has their own uh, definition why we are writing and if you have any types you can also write cat.interface.ts now all these things can be can be inside their own folder like you create a controller you create a services dtos and all these things that depends on how much code how much ex extension you are going to do this to this service okay so cat module will have all the definitions of all the modules like uh, if you if you see the app module definition what it does nothing it just it's just a single placeholder which defines all your controller services pipes all these things together because nest.js design is like you can say inspired by the angular structure in angular also we do these things so here instead of this it will be a cat controller.ts right so we will just import cat dot controller right that is inside our main file and we will write our controller so let's say what all different routes we are going to define in the cat module we are going to have a get cat create cat update delete these are the CRUD operations i'm looking for so we we'll let's go to cat controller and here we will use these uh, predefined annotations which are specified for controller at the rate controller for the services at the rate injectable for the modules at the rate module okay so first you will do is controller and let me just get get rid of this as soon as possible like these are the very basics we are talking so i don't want to waste much of our time export class get controller And inside this you will be defining all your uh, routes and simple routes how you can define is just add the rate post 
okay this is a study post i'm writing and here i think uh create cat i mean from post it's already clear that i'm going to create a resource create cat here i will be having some data and here i will be calling some service to create the cat okay we can import the the missing imports and this is our simple controller you might have seen the existing controller this that is app controller right here we are defining the get definitions this is the controller definition means our routes for this uh, both the apis will be the forward slash api forward slash health forward slash api forward slash test auth this is how the route definition will become here we are not providing that means it's a http cats post similarly you can write uh, get put post delete get so let's say i'm doing list all get we can import and then delete if uh, if you are planning to delete api like delete cat and it can be simply as a remove cat and it's all typescript so you have to you have to take care of what your function is returning what your method is returning and the linting and all <clears throat> okay so let me just add this manually get delete okay so this is our simple controller now what we what is a typical convention is controller will have a dependency injection of service inside it so what we'll do is we'll do the constructor injection so inside a constructor we will uh, inject this particular service we are going to create so inside a constructor you can say i am doing a private read only and i have my service that we have to create first okay so cat service let's call create the service so this service will have basic methods okay like create we are just talking about the crud and uh, this can be i will just copy paste things maybe because it's very easy so we have only two methods in the cat service which is cat service create cat and update cat or delete cat and all these different methods can be there okay and we have the cat interface like the definition of cat what is of type cat cat can have a name and all these different different properties so we'll create a placeholder interface for cat so that is nothing but the name is and breed of a cat so that we will define in the cat interface and we will import it from here inside cat service okay now things are good we have a service we will inject this inside a controller even we can import it directly if the names are correct okay this get service is having export class get service inside controller what we are doing is we can just put get service this we can import okay so why it is complaining and we want to import the cat service now we what we have done is we have done the dependency injection so this will help us to create update delete because we have already have a cat service so here using this dot cat service dot now you will have uh, some methods to like create cat update cat delete cat right so that we are defining inside a controller like there is a create method but how do we get the data for the creating cat that we will be getting from the payload it's a http post api right for that we will create a dto and we are going to write these custom dtos which will also help us in doing the validation of uh, payload so here you can write body you can write request response body params everything you can define here based on what you are expecting from the api so here let's say cat 
and I will be creating a create cat DTO so that I will be creating create cat DTO will be nothing but okay all the arguments which you are specifying in the DTO like uh, cat name breed and all that we can just create a cat DTO here in this we can just copy and paste things and here we'll also add the validations validation means uh, okay this is your input so you, you will be creating a class DTOs are nothing but a simple class having all these properties and the definition of okay, each string it should be a string it should be an integer it should be a string you can also add is optional all these different definitions which are coming from class validator this is the validation library which nest.js is using so you have a age string age number age object age array everything is here so you can just validate okay everything is correct or not okay here inside our controller we'll just say okay the type which we are getting in the body is of type this so we'll just import the cat dto and while doing a create we will just pass cat so now first of all this DTO will do the validation now for that we have to introduce the validation pipes and all that we will do inside a controller okay so inside now we already know that what this payload is going to have right another thing we can do is let's call another method here is a list all I think so list all do we have a method find all you don't need any input for this because it's like you want to I want to return all the the cat right so what we are doing here is uh, this is our HTTP post this is the get now what all the other things we can define right so with the help of this controller you can also define the custom interceptor you can define the auth guards everything and even the, the custom validation pipes because this DTO is taking three arguments for your payload so you have to introduce a validation pipe here in your application so that whenever the request is coming right when the request is coming your payload should be validated against it okay so we have the DTOs now what all we have created we have created a service controller uh, module inside module we are not going to do much we will just import our definition of service definition of controller inside it and uh, then it will become a cat module cat module can be a part of then our app module because there will be only one root module we are going to have so it's a cat module we have inside cat module we'll just rename it replace it so we have cat controller cat services and cat module this cat module will be added inside app module as a dependency so we have this imports here we will say okay I am going to add cat module here all the third party modules core modules shared module common modules all will be imported here otherwise how your application will know that you have a cat module let's see uh, this is our cat module sorry I think it's cat controller Uh, we put cat controller so let's go to this file and figure it out what is the class name I think it's a plural at uh, some places service is fine I mean either you can go with a singular or plural that is fine now this gets module this is not a cat module it's a cats module so the same you will be importing here and then this will help you to import things okay so we'll import the cat module and now it become part of the whole application right now if we are doing it then this cat APIs will also be exposed okay now next thing we are going to look into is these custom annotations custom TypeScript annotations for the, the validation of the APIs like creating the shared components like interceptors middlewares pipes and all inside a 
inside your core folder so we can also create a core module or the shared module common module that can be used across the whole application you can create a custom logger module config module database module as a common module because they can be used by any of your application okay if you just see a simple controller what all other things we can do uh, we have to introduce the validation pipes we can also use a swagger definitions to let's say uh, my application is because we are exposing uh, the swagger spec so how to introduce this uh, api definition like the descriptions what is required what is not required all these things how we can do that uh, with annotations so swagger module is providing the annotations for that first of all to enable the validations we have to use validation pipe okay that validation pipe you can add either at the app level or at the, at the controller level so now your application will make sure that you are passing the correct data in the post okay we'll import all these things together and now we are having these http post get and all okay in the dt also what you can do is you can specify the api property so there are specific tags uh, if i remember it correctly api property this is coming from this is coming from this swagger module so api properties that means this is the particular description which a swagger will expose when we are exposing this api on the swagger ui or the swagger doc which we are generating right so there are a lot of tags you can even specify the type api property and it contains the description this is your description and we can also set required is true and that's it an api property and all these things you can import so this is a particular tag that will help you to expose these properties you can add the description whatever you want like this is the age of the cat this is the the name of the cat and then import the api property from nestjs swagger this is just to add so here required true means the, uh, while generating the swagger document it will be marked as a required okay we'll talk about custom validation also because there are if what if you have the address here an address is a nested object then how you can to add the validation of the nested object okay now coming back to the controller in the controller also we can do a lot of things while exposing this api definition like uh, you can specify the tag okay this api tag will belong to so we can do a lot of things i will go one by one api so api tag means uh, this will belongs to the cat group in the swagger spec okay then we can also specify the http code this particular api can expose so here we have http status this is a create so what we can say is okay let's say this is a accepted okay we have to import all these things and then there are other tags okay what is the bad response what all http status code this particular api can expose like 500 bad request 200 okay uh, uh, this default description of what this particular api is doing so all these tags you can define api operation is there which says okay you specify the description okay and we can import all these things so this is what i wanted to cover in this let's divide it into the two parts part one is this video part two we will also talk about some custom core components you can add like the validation pipes uh, auth guards middlewares interceptors all these things in the next video